We certainly have some trouble spots today across the country. Hi everyone, I'm meteorologist Susie Martin with your Severe Threats Show. We're watching this mid-level cyclone spinning in the Midwest. It's really looking impressive on GOES 16's visible satellite. You can see the swirl around the uh, low pressure system and storms firing up south and east of that low, resulting in rounds of severe weather today, but also copious amounts of moisture for the system to work with, which is really setting the stage for flash flooding concerns. Flash flood threats extending into areas like Chicago and parts of Kentucky today. We've got a great deal of moisture feeding up into the system and still the air feels incredibly tropical for many across the southeast and into the eastern tier of the country in general. So storms are going to be tapping into that, really allowing for some heavy downpours to occur, but also the stage is set for rounds of severe weather. And we've been noting already the development of severe thunderstorms this morning across the central tier of the country and really looking at that uh, threat elevated for areas like Missouri, but that risk extending out into the Ohio and Tennessee valleys and also a couple of strong thunderstorms across the mid-Atlantic and we do have uh, numerous rounds of thunderstorms left to go. These storms could produce damaging winds of up to 70 miles per hour and maybe in some isolated cases of larger hail the damaging wind will be the primary concern. The area of low pressure itself tracks through the Great Lakes and eventually pushes into the northeast spreading rain out that way after a stretch of dry pleasant weather that begins to end as showers push into the northeast. Elsewhere across the country though fairly quiet weather in the west, but we're watching the development of a new disturbance that will eventually give rise to thunderstorms in the north central tier later this week. Uh, ongoing risk for some severe weather across the Ohio region down into Tennessee for tomorrow. Meanwhile, we're also watching the tropics. Areas like Virginia have been incredibly wet as a disturbance has been brewing. It's projected to actually track back out into the Atlantic and has a low chance of tropical cyclone development. Meanwhile, the eastern Pacific looking pretty active. Most storms, though, tracking west.